My name is Owen Bartley and I'm the owner of Unity Boar Goat Farm here in Mandeville, Manchester. Also the national champion goat farmer for 2023 and the national champion farmer for 2023. <laughs> it's hard to explain, words cannot explain it, um, to be honest. Being a champion goat farmer from 2018, 2023 I went back in the competition knowing or feeling that I would come on top with champion goat farmer but to get national champion farmer it was ah oh, I, I don't know it was like you, you see the sun rising from the back of the mountain and just boom shine like that oh god it was it was amazing amazing well my journey coming up to this, as I, as I would say, I, I could not do this without the team. And I think I've made the best decision so far since raising goat and just having females working with me. It was great. I'm happy and we prepare, you know, as we always try to make sure that the farm is always presentable, clean whenever a customer come here. They just can't believe that they're really on a goat farm. So preparing for that was not too hard for champion goat farmer, prepare for a champion goat farmer. So without the team, believe me, I, I could not do it without my team around me. Joined with iPro, Khalil Brown was one of the main influential person in that bit. And uh, you know, um, that young man I have a lot of respect for and I've been really, really good to me. And I can see, honestly, see how happy I was me winning national champion farmer. I see the happiness on Colonel face and Dane face. I'm telling you, it was just, <laughs> it was just amazing. So I praise, uh, I praise play a big part in, in me going forward, you know, supporting me with feed and so forth and medication and and the team, Dr. Motto, the team around the veterinarian team around me, it's great. As I always encourage farmers, I think um, goat farming in Jamaica is, is at a level where it's, it's going to keep on growing. And I would en encourage any farmer to just start. Even if you start with two goats, I see goat as an asset. I don't see goat as a liability, I see them as an asset. So for instance, when you buy a goat, especially a female goat, can give you two or three kids, you grow from there, and it can turn into a hundred goats, you know? So I would encourage any farmer, just follow the example, take care of your goat just like you take care of yourself. You'll always improve and go forward. My vision for Unity Boar Goat Farm going forward is to assist the region, basically send goat or send semen, embryo. My vision is to make sure I, we, Unity Boar Goat Farm here, control the Caribbean region, you know, also Jamaica. Well, growing up, um, growing up, we basically, my dad used to have goats, so we basically know about our local goats. But I remember the first time I was in England and I come here in 2012, and I realized that boar goat was here. I was so excited about that because I liked the way how they're big and muscular, you know. So for me, boar goat was the thing. So I come back and, you know, I tried to, I tried many things and, you know, I decided, you know what, I need to come back home and stay here myself, look after my goats. So I would say, goats why I'm here in Jamaica right now. And I wanna see them grow if, if I, if you see where I'm coming from to where I'm at now, you know, you can see a big, big improvement. And where I'm at now, I really, really want to improve more and more as we go along. So improving my herd is very important to me, always. When it comes to genetics, I, I do a lot of research. And um, I know what, I'm, what we're going out here to buy, to bring here, because, you know, when you study the genetic part of it, you basically see the, the quality of um, those animals, the muscle that they have, the head, you know, because boar goat, especially South African boar goat, that's where boar goat was originated. 
they have this nice head shape coming off the head right to the back um, of the shoulder. So I want to get that in my herd. The animals that we bought now to bring on Unity Bow Ghost Farm, doing our best to adapt to get the South African look. I know it's gonna take a time, but as we go along, breathing, you know, we'll take our time and see. We want more bone. I can see that with the kids them that coming now, especially from this buck that we have over here, Dr. Order, Dr's Order. He's giving us some really nice kids. Trouble, the one that just won Supreme Grand Champion um, Junior Buck. Beautiful. We're getting some really nice kids. So we're just watching how they grow and just see how and where we are with basically getting the, the look that we're going for. A day in the life of Orrin Bartley and Unity Bow Goat Farm. Recently, we start delivering feed to farmers, um, supporting farmers with IPRO goat feed. They get free delivery as well. You know, as long as you order about 20 bags, I give them free delivery. So I might get up early, like this morning, I get up early and I deliver some feed in, in uh, Westmoreland and I come back and I start grooming some goats. Getting up now, I would be grooming if I wasn't here, like doing this lovely interview that I'm doing now. <laughs> I'll be grooming my goats because keeping them, especially the oof, you have to keep that in pristine condition because not only because they're on the board, not only it will just make their foot um, lean, you have to just keep that straight. As you can see, trouble at Denby this year, he was on his feet standing perfectly. So they keep me busy. So sometimes when I'm in my bed, it's like I'm sleeping and I'm not sleeping because I still have to keep watch on what's going on. So that's my day.